Uh, my name is Raj Banu, and uh, I'm representing my only brother. Uh, his name is, uh, at the time of uh, 1971 uh, war, uh, his title was Lieutenant Colonel, and he was uh, commander of paratroopers. Uh, his full name is Kulwant Singh Panu. I remember him uh, telling me, and of course he told all the international press, and um, that he was the first person to jump into a place where there was a river called Tangel. And um, he jumped with his jeep. And as he jumped, a French reporter, who was automatically taking pictures of everything, he jumped in the jeep too. So the French uh, reporter got the first-hand pictures of war. Years later, uh, the pictures were, they had an exhibition in Paris, and my brother was invited to inaugurate it. And um, when he jumped, he was surrounded by Pakistani uh, soldiers. He said at that moment, just for a fraction of a second, he thought they would shoot him. He said to them, Saab, ladai khatam ho gaye. Apne hathiyar dal dijiye. Hame aur koi khun kharaba nahi chahiye. Aapke General Saab ne surrender kar diya hai. And ladai khatam ho gaye. And, uh, you know, uh, he was surprised that they all just surrendered their weapons. And uh, then he got into his, that jeep and his driver with him, and they drove towards Dhaka. Um, as they were driving, there was a stray bullet that hit his driver, uh, who was bleeding, so he put him on the back seat, and there was an ambulance that was there. So he got onto the seat himself, and uh, he drove. Um, it took him several hours, I think eight to ten hours or even more than that, because everywhere he was mobbed by the joyous Bengalis. They were dancing on his jeep and garlanding him. And there is a PBS documentary. Uh, it is called The Nehru Gandhi Dynasty. It shows him for just a minute entering into Dhaka. At that time, uh, he went into a hotel called I think intercontinental. Once he was there, he hoisted the flag, and the speech he gave to the people was that, we have given you your country. Once we restore order and peace, we will return. No intentions of staying here. And after that, they went into the streets of Dhaka. The news had been there that Niazi had surrendered. But when they signed the peace treaty and all, that's when General Aroda uh, came in. This was the first time in the uh, Indian Army history that uh, the paratroopers had taken uh, a big part. Then they uh, came back to India, of course, uh, with the 90,000 prisoners of war. And uh, they were all kept in Agra because uh, uh, Agra is the paratroopers' center, <clears throat> and uh, General Niazi was with them too. And um, um, one of the reporters asked my brother, how do you treat him? He says, we treat him as one of our equals. He knew what he had done, and that was enough for him. While you are honoring his memory, um, people have forgotten. And it was one of the most glorious wars that India has ever fought.